Hey guys, it's your girl Niyoshi, and I want to thank you for tuning into this frequency called Niyoshi Hypno. <laughs> I'm a clinical and transpersonal hypnotherapist best known for my hypnosis and past life regression sessions. I believe that we're here, we're each placed here in this earth at this time, this very unique, specific time on earth uh, for a particular reason. Um, me, my purpose is to assist with, um, I guess you could say the ascension, somebody would call, but, um, my purpose here in this life is to help you heal your soul, break through blockages and align with your divine purpose. I do this through my sessions. Um, I also, in my sessions, help connect with your guides, ancestors, um, and be able to understand and hear your higher self more clearly. Um, I am not for everybody. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. But if you're here, I feel like your guides have led you to me because I hear that a lot of my sessions. Your guides have led me, led you to um, this video, which means that there's something in it for you. And I'm, you know, blessed. And I feel blessed and thankful to be able to assist you um, and receiving whatever information you might receive from this video. This video that I'm going to show with you right now it's unique. It's very special. Um, all of my sessions are, but I wanted to share this specific video with you um, as I have my other videos. Um, keep in mind, I did get permission from my clients to share this session. Um, so it may not be, you know, be, most likely it's not the whole session, but you have a very important part of the session um, that may hold something for you. And I hope that you can get something out of this. So in a second, I'll show you that video. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this whenever they're posted. You can also click the bell there to get an alert whenever it's posted. Um, if you like this video as well, be sure to thumbs up, share with someone you think that might it may be able to help as well. Um, okay, I guess that's enough to talk about me and everything else. <laughs> Here's a video. I hope you enjoy. Hello there. Hi. What's your name? Jared. What is it? Jared. Jared. Jared, what are you doing there in our lower back? Finding a safe space. Finding a safe space. Okay. She's got a kind heart. She's safe here. Mm -hmm. Jared, how long have you been there? A couple of years. And what was happening with her at the time that you attached that allowed you to attach? She went out drinking. Mm -hmm. Drink, drink a lot. I was there, and mm -hmm. I saw her. And I just, just, just wanted to rest for a little bit, but I just did, decided not to leave. Jared, did you have a body before you attached to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. How did you lose that body? Drinking. What happened to you? I just, I just got back from the war and didn't care anymore, and I got shot. I got shot in my back where I attached to her. Mm -hmm. and, um, I couldn't walk anymore. Mm -hmm. And nobody really was there to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So I took care of myself. And then I did that by drinking and I don't know, not having to play in society anymore. What year was it when you died, Jared? 79. Why didn't you go to the light? Because it was before my time. How old were you? In my 50s. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to I was supposed to get better. Mm -hmm. Now I was shot, but like I was supposed to cover. I was just taking a break. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean for it to become my life. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to go to the light now, Jared? I want to, yeah. Okay. I'll help you do that. But before I do that, I'm going to need you to pull up everything that you brought there with you when you attached to her. Before you do that, can you share with me how have you been influencing and affecting her since you've been there besides the drinking? Making her more tired, probably. Mm -hmm. Taking her energy. Maybe making, making her backward, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like to think I didn't hurt her by being there. So, Jared, I'm going to need you to pull all of that up all those things. I'm going to need you to pull them up from the roots. 
I need you to scrape the edges, the crevices, everything. You're going to pull all of that up. And you're going to take all of that with you when you go. Do you need some assistance with that? Or would you like me to call for some? Well, can you do it yourself? Yeah, no. I, I want, yeah, I want help. Okay. So I want to call spirit guides, angels, ancestors to come and assist Jared here with pulling everything up that he brought when he attached her and the Lord back there. Do you see them there, Jared? Mm -hmm. How are they helping you? Like, where am I going to go? I'm going to help you go to the light, Jared. I need you to pull all of that stuff up. You're going to take that with you to the light for healing. Continue to pull it all up, Jared. When you sure you've pulled it all up, let me know. Okay. You pulled it all up? Mm hmm All right. So let me just confirm that. Has Jared pulled everything up there from the lower back? No. Mm -hmm, I don't think so. Jared, I need you to pull everything up. Pull it all up from the roots. Great. The edges is all of that. All of the making her tired, taking the energy, the back thing. Everything you've been causing since you've been there. Everything that you brought with you. Pull it all up. And let me know when you have it all. I'm still taking, but I'm still taking a break. What do you mean you're taking a break? I mean, I don't want to make a decision. Yeah, I don't know. I want to go to the light. I want to be done. I I'm just, I'm just taking a break before I go. I just didn't. Jared, what are you waiting for? What do you need a break for? Because you can have a break in a light. What is it that you're wa waiting for? I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Jared, once you get to the light, you can rest there. You can repair your body, repair your mind, your emotions, all of that. You can decide to rest as long as you need to and do whatever you need to do there in the light. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. Right. Like all right. So go ahead. Continue. Pull everything up there. Pull it all up. You're going to take that with you when you go. But pull it all up from the roots. Scrape the edges and crevices and let me know when you have all of it. Be sure you have all of it. Let me know. Yeah. Let me confirm with the Jared pulled everything up there. Yes. All right. Very good. So, Jared, now that you've pulled everything up, is there anything you want to say before you go? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to rest. So, Jared, now that you've pulled everything up, <clears throat> you're going to take all of that with you to the light. So, if you look off into the distance, Jared, you'll notice a very bright light. From that light, you'll notice someone approaching you. Do you see them? Mm -hmm. Who is it? God. Mm -hmm. What does God say to you? His open arms. Mm -hmm. Like waving over. Mm -hmm. Do you feel safe going with God? I do. Very good. So I want you to take all of your things with you into the light. Follow God into the light. And may peace and blessings be with you, Jared. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Let me know when Jared's gone. Jared's done. Awesome. So now I want you to go to that energy that's in your right foot. I need you to bring that energy up, up, up to your mind. Blend it your mind and lips allowed to express itself in three, two, one. Hello there. Hi. Uh, what are you doing there? I'm experiencing Earth. Repeat that. I'm experiencing Earth. Experiencing Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Tigong. Can you spell that? T I G O A N G. T Gong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. T Gong. How how long have you been there? Her right foot. Just recently. Mm -hmm. what, was hap <laughs> what was happening that allowed you to attach to her? She was breathing open. Mm -hmm. and she was flying on a plane and. Mm -hmm. Searching, she felt kind of empty. Mm -hmm. She was kind of like breathing and searching. Mm -hmm. And since you've been there, what? do you agree that? Mm -hmm. Since you've been there, how have you been influencing and affecting her? Um, her foot's been hurting lately. Mm -hmm. um, walking. Mm -hmm. and like this, I saw on and off. It's not all the time. Mm -hmm. And Tigong. <clears throat> Did you have a body before you attached to her? No. No? Tell me about that. Where were you before you attached to her? A little bit everywhere. Everywhere. But but not but not this earth. Not not earth. Mm-hmm. Well, where'd you come from? It's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. I was 
And I was just supposed to be looking. It wasn't wasn't supposed to attach. It wasn't going to. I mm -hmm. didn't even want to. But no, she mm -hmm. she had such emotion, mm -hmm. such such strong emotion, pain, mm -hmm. sorrow, and I I never felt emotion. Mm -hmm. Not like not like that. I wanted so I wanted to know more about Earth and attaching to her foot is, is a good way because mm -hmm. then I'm connected to the earth too and mm -hmm. maybe I can feel some of that. Mm -hmm. So you connected to the earth. How are you connected to the earth? Through her foot. And she walks. Okay. Gotcha. So T Gong, um are you ready to leave and go where you're supposed to go? I don't really want to, but um I mean I guess I understand like mm -hmm. I think I learned what I needed to. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be fun to stay a little longer, but I'm also not trying to hurt her. Mm -hmm. I guess if I have to go, I, I can go. Mm -hmm. And would you like to go to the light or would you like to go back, go to where someplace else, go home where you're supposed to oh, go? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going home. I want to go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So before you go home, Tigong, I need you to pull everything up with you before you go. I need you to pull it up from the roots, the crevices. Scrape the edges and crevices. Do you need some assistance with that? Or would you like, or can you handle that yourself? No, I got it. Okay, keep pulling, Tigong. When you're sure you have it all, let me know. Pulling up all the foot pain and everything that you've been causing since you've been here. Everything you brought with you. Yeah, I'm good. Awesome. Awesome. So let me just confirm. Did Tigong pull up everything that you brought with him? Yeah. All right. Tigong. <clears throat> Now that you have everything, you're going to take that with you, okay? So if you look off into the distance, you'll notice a, a portal appears that allows you to transfer yourself, transport yourself back to your home planet. Do you see mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Allow yourself to take all of those things with you. Allow yourself to move through that portal now. And peace and blessings to you, Tigon. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let me know when Tigon is gone. It's gone. Good. Okay.